since it's officially autumn now, we're gonna go back to TK Maxx and see what decor they've got. The homeware section of TK Maxx will always have my heart. It's the best part, it is the best part. I very rarely shop in TK Maxx for clothes, actually. Um, but the back of the shop just calls to me. Here we are, already. I love this, $129.99. No space for it in my house, but I love it. I really, I mean, I don't know when this is gonna go out of fashion. You know, like the real deep jewel tones in the brass. Hopefully not soon, because I really, enjoy it this section always draws me in as well i think i'm just like a storage junkie is that a thing i just like to buy boxes and bins and things to keep things in i think it's probably because i'm a shopaholic so i've got too many things nowhere to put them all but oh i really like that this is really cool the one that we've got in the bathroom right now is a little bit worse for wear and that would be very nice it's like these i've been looking for some um like little boxes like this to fit on. We've got some shelves on the landing and that would be perfect. I'm trying really hard not to spend too much money because it's about to be the most expensive time of the year. So we are browsing, in theory just window shopping, but I can't, Ugh, it's hard. I've seen this or an iteration of this a couple of times being in here and I really like it. <gasps> it's only 16.99. Oh my God, it's been reduced. I just love the kind of herringbone. Love these kinds of blankets. See, look, we've got another one. I also really like this, but it is a bit crazy. Got a black and white one. I know this is for stationery, but how cute would this be for makeup? Super cute. They've got some more as well. See, obviously stationery, but I think that would be really nice as a little makeup station. Stationery storage tends to lend itself well to makeup though, doesn't it? I love this, you know, the party bits. Love this bit. It's really the super unnecessary detail section although that's most of tk maxx homeware isn't it i really like these mirrors these are nine pounds they'd be really nice like hung together because there's a stack of them hung like in a row or in like a, a square oh my goodness walking of makeup storage these are like bougie versions of the ikea ones how much are these i don't know 12.99 totally worth it totally worth it i really like this too just I love little boxes for things. Oh, are these for shoes? That is a fancy shoe box. So you can put like, I can't tell if it's um, see-through. It is see-through, but you could put like a little picture there. I love it. It is also candle season. I haven't bought any autumn candles yet. At the point of filming this, whether or not you've seen me buy candles elsewhere. <laughs> In the meantime, I don't know, um, because I am kind of on the verge. But this is the time of year that, I mean, it's not just me, right? We all want candles. What are these huge things? These smell amazing, FYI. 29.99 down from 75. They've also got smaller versions. Um, but I like the idea of having a really big candle. I think that would look really cool. Mirrors is one of those things. I think because I feel like, I love these really cool looking shapes. Um, but I think I, because I feel like art is so, like when you want to change the look of something, it, it doesn't, it doesn't just fit in, whereas mirrors are kind of like neutral art. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want to change the look of your room, you're going to change the pictures. But you might keep the mirrors. What's this? Oh, I like that. I'm thinking of getting um, a new lampshade for the bedroom. I want like a really big lampshade. Oh, I like this white one. That's quite cool. A really big kind of like statement lampshade. I would quite like. It's really autumn and springtime when I start to get really excited about decor and like changing things and I'm like, right, I want everything to feel new again. I don't feel like that in summer and winter. What is it about spring and autumn that feel like real change seasons? You know what's just around the corner? Halloween. They haven't got loads of Halloween stuff in yet. I'm not super into Halloween. I used to be more so. Um, but not so much anymore. I do like the little pumpkin motif though, like this stuff. I would buy this kind of thing. These are cute. But I'm not into like the all in Halloween stuff like some people are. Also, I'm just saying, they are preparing themselves. I remember buying um, a little thing from here. Every year I come back and see if I can find another one. I found one similar last year, but it wasn't, it's just never gonna be the same. A little kind of like ceramic house. Um, that had like little stars on it. What is 
can't even remember exactly what it was like anymore. It's like struck him from my memory. And you put a candle in it. And I remember I was having a really hard time. I can't remember what it was that caused it, what, what, what happened, what, even what was happening at the time. But this little thing that I bought from TK Maxx, um, that clearly you can't just go and buy again because they're all a bit one off, um, was smashed. And I basically took to my bed. It was very dramatic. Obviously, it was clearly not about that. It must have been about something else, but I remember that being like the straw that broke the pack camel's back, and I was like, I can't take it anymore. My tiny little house from TK Maxx has been broken, and I'm going to bed. Ooh, these pumpkins are cute. I like these kind of, um, what do you call this? I want to say magnesium, that's not right. What do I mean? Ah, there's a word for this kind of mirrored glass. I think it's mercury glass. I think that's what it is, anyway. On to other things. Ooh, <laughs> is that a little monkey? I think that it is. It's like a tiny little puppy ball. I told Milo that, oh, I love this. I told Milo that um, I might get him a little dog bed for Manny, because Manny's been coming in Milo's bedroom, um, and he's been spending a little bit of time on his bed. Sometimes he'll lie in his bed, sometimes he'll lie on the floor, but he really wants Manny to spend more time in his bedroom at night time, so I said I might get him like a little pet bed for him. He doesn't really do it though. I don't know whether or not he'll actually want ooh, want to lie in a dog bed anymore that's a fancy bed bin when we move next because when we moved um, to this house that we've got now that we bought with my parents um we downsized a lot of our stuff we knew that when we moved again we'd basically be kind of not starting over furniture wise but we'd be kind of coming in with the bare bones really excited about redecorating a whole new house two more years for those of you that don't know we're doing like a five year, we have a five year plan um, that fits financially with everyone involved. Um, and so at the end of the five years, we're all going our separate ways and our next house will basically be kicked out from TK Maxx. Cannot wait. I know this is not Halloween specific, but like Day of the Dead, but this is the kind of Halloween that I could get on board with. Oh, I like these little jobs too. Lots of, it's always really nice, like, glassware and stuff in TK Maxx. And tiny little Le Creuset's. Every Valentine's, I see someone with this. I think I must have one. This is actually an absolute bargain. £6.99, they're supposed to be £20. I'm looking to see if there are any more, because you'd really want two, wouldn't you? Um, I don't think so. But these little mini casserole dishes are adorable. Actually, all this Le Creuset stuff is really cute. And cheap. £39 down £12.99. Loads of Le Creuset stuff around here. The orange stuff I think I like the best. Don't forget, this is a great time to pick up Christmas presents. I know, I know. I'm talking about Christmas too early. I don't care. You have to get used to it because that's just who I am. Um, but also in terms of like prepping and buying things before you run out of money. You don't want to be leaving it all to the last minute. Um, TK Maxx is great for picking up little bits that would be usually more expensive. Well, I think we've exhausted the homeware section today. I'm going to be back when the Christmas stuff is fully in obviously uh, but thanks for joining me hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe for more sunday shopping videos i'll see you guys next time every time i'm going out the same things keep happening new boys same tricks